forgiveness oh, I won't let it go Help my eyes see grace pulled out from heaven's throne And mercy, oh, I can't let it be Keep my heart wide open as you cover me Thank you, Jesus, you speak to me and call me clean Thank you, Jesus, you bring me back to your heart beating I can feel you around me and heaven is not far from here at all Your presence how I found my home Hearing your heart beat again Oh, shame is gone Your guidance Is showing me to see Reside my heart in openness You've covered me And thank you, Jesus Jesus, you speak to me and call me clean. Thank you, Jesus, you bring me back to your heart beating. I can feel you around me in heaven. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Marin. For anyone who is new, I'm a Christian wife, mom, and homemaker who lives in the currently can't decide what weather it wants to be state of Michigan. Today we have a sewing vlog for you guys. Sewing is something that takes a long time and there are a lot of decisions that are made along the way that I feel like you can't really articulate in a tutorial so I thought I'd just kind of vlog it and show you guys how it goes. On sewing days my entire life falls apart it's kind of how it goes. But now I have to like try to keep it together because I got a kid so we'll see how that goes but back to the main point today we're sewing curtains for my kitchen possibly my bedroom if we get a chance but my guess is we won't just because of time and it always seems to get away from me when we bought this house we didn't do anything to it like literally anything all we've done is replace all the water systems but that's a totally different story the house was really well maintained the lady who <laughs> <laughs> She's hitting me with her tail. Who lived here before us took amazing care of this house. <laughs> and the lady, she worked at Home Depot and she had really good taste. So she took amazing care of this place and we haven't had to change the paint. We kind of want to change it to make it our style because it's not necessarily our style, but it's totally doable. However, the only thing that I really wanted to get rid of were the turquoise curtains in the kitchen, which I took down a few days ago. Turquoise just really is not my color. It goes with nothing in my house. So I bought a bunch of fabric on really good sale. I'll have to find the receipt and see if I can show you exactly how much I spent. I feel like it was very cheap for fabric. I feel like it was 15 total, which is really good. Yesterday afternoon, I actually cut out the fabric to save us some time today. So I'm gonna show you how that went. find joy in the smallest of things that is what we found in you oh, 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 oh you are joy never give up when the going gets rough hope is everything you need oh, 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 oh you are hope oh, 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 oh you are hope Don't forget you're not alone The Holy Spirit wants to guide you on The journey, child, will never end Once your heart's been marked by a love for Him The smile
Smallest of seeds grow the largest of trees. You just have to believe. Oh, 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 you have faith. There will be those who try to bring hate, but love will turn the heart around. Oh, 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 you are love. Oh, 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 you are love. Don't forget you're not alone. The Holy Spirit wants to guide you on. The journey, child, will never end once your heart's been marked by a love for Him. Oh, and everything you say and do, let the Father's light shine inside of you. Don't back down or be afraid. You have power to stand in Jesus' name. Always find joy in the smallest of things. That is what we found in you. Oh, 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 you are joy. So now that our fabric's all cut out, we are going to make two of the most basic types of curtains, you guys. Beginner sewers, I promise you, you can do this. The first one is so basic. All I'm going to do is iron a half inch all the way around, and then fold it again and iron it a half inch all the way around, and stitch it up, and that. That's it, that's the hem. We are going to use these little hoops with clips on them to hang this curtain because we want it to very easily fold all the way up to let in a lot of light. So that's gonna be really basic. That's it for that one. Okay, so as you can see, I'm trying to talk quietly because baby's napping. I've gone all the way around and ironed over half an inch of the fabric, okay? This just makes it so much easier when we're sewing later on. And now all I'm gonna do is fold it over again on itself, another half inch all the way around. And then that will be our hem. So literally you're just making like a giant handkerchief. This is the most basic sewing project you can do and it can really help you make your home your own. We are looking rough. All right, so we've got our curtain all ironed out. I am going to hold it up to the window to double check and make sure that it is the right size. Also, today I'm going to share with you a few top tips for beginner sewers. Number one is measure twice, cut or sew once. Trust me, you do not want to sew something and have to rip out the stitches. You don't want to have to cut something and realize later on you cut it too small. I've done it so many times and could have saved myself so much headache if I had followed those rules. My second tip for you is to always, always, always pre-shrink and iron your fabric before you start your sewing project. This ensures that when you make your project and then wash it later on for use, it doesn't shrink on you and you don't have a false idea of what the sizing will be with the final result. Now I really only did that for the blue curtains, the white ones. I don't think you're supposed to really wash that material other than by hand in cold water. So that's not so much a concern. Finally, please, please, please buy more fabric than you think you will need. Buy at least half a yard extra because you never know. Trust me on this one. Now I'm just gonna iron the second one just like the first. Hug my girl. It is 
a very present reality to all of us that we are living on borrowed time. Especially when you have a baby. <laughs> You're so cute. I just got her up from her nap. Little friend, she had a good nap, but she was cranky when she woke up. And she's been spitting up a lot. She wanted an extra feeding. <laughs> You're so cute. Um, so I gave her an extra feeding and now she's just spitting up all over the place. But I got her in the bumbo seat because she's now big enough for that. Happy tears. It's so cute. You're so cute. Seriously, you guys, she's adorable. I don't show her full face on the camera. There you go. Can't show your face. You're so cute. They can't handle the cuteness. But in reality, I think that she needs to be able to make the decision of whether or not she wants to be public about certain things when she's older. So for now, we just show you guys side profiles occasionally and you get to hear about the cuteness because you're really adorable. I don't know. That's kind of what we decided on for her and not sharing her name. Although you have a very pretty name and she would eat the camera if I let her, so. Okay, so we're gonna attempt, emphasis on attempt to speedily hem these curtains. So another pro tip. I have broken this machine so many times by winding the bobbin the wrong way or putting it into the little bobbin case thing, um, whatever you call this, yeah. So make sure you do it the right way. This is my great grandmother's sewing machine. She passed away when I was one and I always kind of wondered what she would think if she knew that her sewing machine is on YouTube and that I'm using it for sewing for videos online. I don't even know if she knew what YouTube was or if it was even around when she was alive. So I have this white thread. It's not super durable stuff, but, ooh, this is a nice little arm that comes up. That's cool. But I think it will work really nicely for the more see-through transparent curtains I'm going to be making later. Um, I think it'll be just a lot easier to handle. You're like, Mama, who in the world are you talking to? You're not looking at me. You're, you're so cute. You know, I, if I put it in right, it's going to turn clockwise when I pull it. So I'm just going to do a straight seam all the way around. I'm going to show you guys a little hack for turning corners very nicely on the sewing machine. All right, I'm gonna show you guys something. Okay, so we're coming here to a corner, as you can see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch right up to where I want the, it, to turn that corner. Right about there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my needle down into the fabric. I'm gonna lift up the petal, turn the fabric, and see that it lines up just about perfectly. My seam allowance. Lay it down and keep stitching. And voila. Look at that. We turned a perfectly beautiful corner. What are you doing? Yeah. You want to eat the camera? I know. Oh, look at you shoving your hands in your mouth. I think you're teething pretty good today. Would you like your toys back? There you go. one was gold, one was black. I'm gonna go with the black one because it fits more with our house. But all I'm gonna do is string the, <laughs> I'm talking. So all I'm gonna do is loop these onto the curtain rod and put them up. It's as easy as that. All right, let's go. All right, let's put these, not where they go. <laughs> I'm gonna get a chair. My baby's watching me in horror right now. She's like, what is going on with mom? Good question. There we go! Look at that! Like I told you, those loops make it so easy to pull them all the way to the side. Little tiny human is getting fussy. I'm gonna go hang out with her, maybe take a shower, and 
Get back to you guys when she has her nap. <laughs> And we are back. I did not get a shower. I did get lunch. My little friend is now napping over there, which is why we're now ironing in here so we don't wake her up. She's taking her long afternoon nap, so we got a couple hours, and we're now gonna bang out those big curtains that are going to go in the dining room. They're made out of a very light, see-through, translucent fabric. And these are the originals, which we're using as a pattern. I measured everything out ahead of time. This fabric is a little bit wider than this one, but lengthwise, they're gonna be identical. So, for the bottom hem, we're going to iron it on the lowest setting, because I don't wanna burn this. We're going to iron over half an inch, and then three inches. So, folding over half an inch, ironing it, fold it over three inches, iron it, and then that'll make it like this bottom hem. Then for the top, so the former owner sewed this fabric over the top of it, so it might kind of skew what you can see as far as the stitching is concerned. So we got two seams, up here, down here, that are the seams that will hold the curtain rod, that's the word I'm looking for, in place. Fold over half an inch, and then three inches, so it's the same on either side. But I may have messed up the measurements and actually added more, so we're gonna see. I think we're just gonna hem them first and then go from there. I'm also gonna have to pin this type of fabric. The last stuff I didn't really pin because it really didn't need it, but this time I think we're gonna need it. There we go with our half inch one. And I don't have to worry about making them the two curtains as identical because they're never going to be drawn together in the center like I did with the other ones. But anyways, let's pull over and measure three inches right there. We're just going to press that and then every now and again we're going to stop and measure three inches again so that we make sure that we're doing this accurately. These are the most basic type of curtains that you can make today. I'm showing you. So I hope that this inspires you and makes you feel equipped. Like you can go out and you can do this and make your curtains however you like. Got uh, the curtains hemmed. Literally, we're just gonna repeat the exact same process and add an extra seam. I double checked the measurements with the old curtains and I actually measured correctly. Shocker, that doesn't always happen. So I'm just gonna iron them out same as before and I'll catch up with you guys after I've hemmed them and it's time to add the extra seam. Hi everybody, so I just ironed and hemmed the other side of the curtains and literally all we have to do is one more seam a seam right about here and the curtain rod will slip right into that little pocket we're going to create i ironed out the curtains all the way just to make them nice and smooth i probably never have to do that again i just thought i might as well get it done now and then we're done and we can hang them up. But I made some ties for the curtains. I don't know if we'll need them or not. I sewed a tube, flipped it inside out, ironed it, pressed down the sides of it. So kind of made a tube and hemmed the end of the tube. Uh, or I will hem it. All you do to make a fabric tube is you take a rectangle of fabric, fold it in half with the sides you want to see, the right sides facing together. Sew a seam along the edge and flip it inside out. So I'm just gonna whip these things out really fast on the machine and then we'll hang it up and see how it looks. Keep my heart wide open as 
as you call me Thank you, Jesus You speak to me and call me clean Thank you, Jesus So that is it, you guys. The curtains are made. My kitchen looks so different, I think. I mean, it was such a bold color on the windows and everything else is more of a muted tone. So it just feels a lot more like us. I don't know whether or not I'm gonna keep the ties on the curtains. I think during the summer, I'm going to enjoy watching them billow a little bit when wind comes through the windows. So I'll probably take the ties off, but I think it ties everything together nicely for now. Again, this is possibly the most basic and simple sewing project for beginners. It is something practical. I mean, I prefer to learn on pr making practical things versus something I'll never use. The first curtains we made were just a giant rectangle that we hemmed and then clipped up and ones that we made for the dining room. Literally, you guys, three seams and then you're done. If you want to spruce up your home for a minimal cost and effort, I think this is a good project for you. Please let me know in the comments below more basic sewing projects you'd like for me to show you guys or more advanced ones if you already know how to sew. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. I should probably go take a shower now before the baby wakes up. Have a good day and I'll talk to you next week. Bye!